All right, we are Hello. back. <laughs> yes. Shout we out off. to our friends. We're happy to be here with you. Who's watching? We've Let's been on vacation all week, separately, but on vacation. So I'm we're a little back slow. In the back in the office this morning. Back talking to a camera. Who's out there? Shout out in the chat. Come Tell on, let us know. There's real people that you're on the other side. There are this, humans. <laughs> you know, you can type through your mask. Okay, it's okay. That's what's next, though. It'll be masks for your fingers. Maybe we should invent this. Those are called gloves. Yeah, but gloves are ineffective. We need masks for your fingers because those <laughs> work for everything except what they don't work for. All right, All right we're a good. couple quick announcements before we get to some fun stuff. Uh, no Wednesday night this week, taking another week off and just getting our heads together for what's coming next. We'll be back on July 8th. Hopefully, fingers crossed, that we'll be back. Um, and we are planning for camp. We are moving forward, planning for camp, trying to figure out what we can do and what we're going to do. So Something will happen that weekend. Go sign up online, and we will keep updating you every week That's true. with what's happening. Yes. <laughs> Maybe we'll get masks for your fingers in your for camp. Which are called gloves. No, they're right? different. Can I get can I get some move, support I'm in the chat, please? This. Masks for your fingers, not your hands. For your fingers. That's right. So you won't pass anything Thomas through the here keyboard. And Lauren's here. Two friends are That's here it. with us. Two out of <laughs> however many of you are out there watching this morning. So that's great news. They're all still sleeping. They are I still know. sleeping. Yeah, they're you sleeping. Know, now that we're at 9 a.m. and not 9.15. Yeah, we messed up their sleep schedule. It's very true. It's our bad. <laughs> oh, there's Jay and uh, Rachel and Sean. Thank you all. Sarah. Uh, give us a shout out there. Uh, anybody been on vacation recently? Going anywhere? Give us a shout out in the chat. Where'd you go, Kristen? I went to Port Aransas to the beach. Yay. Where'd you go, Brian? We went to Hot Springs, <laughs> Arkansas. Great time there. Uh, had a good time. So... Uh, great to have you all here with us. So, anyway, Hi, Lily. there's Lily as well. Oh, and Emily. Oh, Emily. Yes, it's Emily right there. She's right there. Good job, Emily. <laughs> right here. Right here. Oh, she it. Here? Here. <laughs> or there. <laughs> Are you here, Emily? You said you're right here. Is this like... Well, we're definitely on vacation brain still. It's creepy there. <laughs> Uh, Jackson Casey. Hey, uh, what's this? Oh, that's a great transition. <laughs> okay. What is this box? We have, uh, we ordered an amazing box of awesomeness. Do we need to move it so they can see our box? I don't know. I'll hold can it up. Can you see, see the, box. the box? You can see it's still sealed. We got this from Vat19. They got a lot of random stuff random. and some fun random videos awesome on stuff, YouTube. Right? Uh, and so we have no idea what is in here. And so Surprise. it's called an amazing box of awesomeness. Um, Emily? <laughs> Hello to the Gonzalez okay. family. All right. Anyway, all right. Yes to Casey and Jackson. All right. We're going to open this up. We have no idea what's inside here. What do they call this? Like, Amazing box of awesome. No, like unboxing videos. Oh, don't yeah. Kids, don't kids like watch those things like uh, hours upon hours? Look at the color hours. of my hair. Do I know what the kids do? <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Amazing box of awesomeness. Starts with Woo! packing paper. Packing Love paper. That stuff. Oh, is that good or bad? All right. Uh, okay, so uh, what do we got? Chris, you want to pull something out? Okay, look at this. I think, is it a slap bracelet? Slap bracelet. That That's 19 awesome. slap bracelet. That is it is awesome. like a bright orange rubber feeling i don't know you know these were so popular when i was young that uh you know you His couldn't really a different that's color. right and i had more of it uh yeah there you go a little slap bracelet for you they're fun bring back the Drive 90s your, your, right uh, was that the 90s when these came out no i think it was before then i think it was in elementary school oh so well that was, that was the 90s that was for the me. 80s <laughs> So anyway, uh, all right, cool. Let's see what else do we have here. We have, oh my goodness, the greatest, uh, greatest. I know what it is. Greatest. It's all back. Dot to dot adventure. Dot to dot. Ooh, connect the dot, y'all. This is how high can you count? This isn't just connect the dot. 
This is the greatest <laughs> gre world's. I'll bet there's only one of these in existence, and we have it. Uh, probably not. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, look at this. I mean, even if you can't stay in the lines, you create the lines. Beautiful. That was me Love for Brian. It. All right, what's this thing? What is that? Sneaky Stardust Gum Powder Sour Green Apple Flavor. Is Emily in there? Sneaky. <laughs> Sneaky. Sneaky Stardust. It's gum powder? Gum powder. Has anybody ever had gum powder? What is that? How many of you think we should try the gum powder? Candy's so fun, it's on the run. Does it give you? Never mind. Candy's so fun. It's on the run. Shape-shifting gum that transforms from powder to solid on your tongue. I want to see now this. Now that's a sneaky I want to see. How many of y'all want to see this? Anyone out there want to see this? So far, no one. <laughs> Crickets. Again. I think it's just delayed. We just need Is to it delayed? Maybe it's time. delayed. Uh, Tom says me. Thank you, Tom. Appreciate that. I vote that. for Brian to try it. Wow. It's, you, know, you like sour stuff. I don't know, though. I mean, I, some of it. I mean, yeah. Thank you, Lindsay. We love Brian. More people. I have been tortured enough on this camera. But you bought that stuff. So that was on <laughs> you. You tortured yourself. All right. Candy so fun. Here we go. All right. It's on the run. All these stag gum safety features. There we go. Um, cool. So you just put it on your tongue? Yeah, you pour it on your tongue. And it's going to go from powder to solid. How much do you pour on your tongue? Mm, maybe just start with a little bit. Little bit. Or the whole thing. Oh my gosh! <laughs> All right, there you go. It's really not bad. And that's why he did it. Because I would have poured, mm -hmm. like, no. No, that touched your mouth. Oh. No, it's. All right, moving it's on. What, it's turning into gum, but. What it's is actually this? more turning into. I don't know. Almost like Pop Rocks, really. Stab, stab, stab. It's not bad. The flavors are not bad. Bat 19 year old, some gum powder. <laughs> Do you know what this is? I have no idea. Grab snap. snappers. Snappers. No, I think you take a picture or something with it. What? I don't know. <laughs> What's a snapper? <laughs> Grab, snap, smile, repeat. Smile. That's what it said smile. It's got these two suction cups. Anyone know what snappers are? I don't know. Maybe it's for your nose. Look, it works. You're smiling. Get, get it. <laughs> yes. I don't know. Snappers. Okay, all of those items are now yours. <laughs> we have no idea what the snappers are. This is great. Oh, what? Oh, they're finger gloves. That's right, Jay. Finger gloves. <laughs> yes. No, finger please. gloves. No, don't support Thank him. you, Jay. Thank you. I appreciate this. Okay, Coming this is called you. a snowball. It's the crunchy stress ball. I need Crunchy this. stress? I've I got enough regular video. stress. I don't need crunchy stress. Is it going to crunch in my hand? Oh, <laughs> That's what do you mean? Weird. Ooh. Oh. That is weird. You Why? That? I just need, I'm going to sit here. I need this right now. Okay. We've got a couple things left. Okay. Um, let's see. Uh -oh. <laughs> oh, what is this? This is a wallet ninja. What? This is a wallet ninja. A little guy that goes in your wallet. You're like, wah! It's hard on me. No, it's the gum that keeps on getting. Is that the side? Chin. <laughs> there you go. No. Huh? It's on your chin. Your tongue doesn't go that far. <laughs> All right, okay, back like, to the ninja. Wallet ninja. What is oh my do? god. Well, it's just a ninja that you put in your it's wallet. It's a ninja that you put in your wallet. First of all, you have to open it. What is in here? Well, oh, it's in a little pack. Now, I bet you oh. can't take this through security still. <laughs> Look at that, y'all. It says Wallet Ninja on it. Wallet Ninja. Anybody have? Somebody's brother had. Nathaniel's brother has one of these. 
I mean, Casey says those things, stress balls will bust. Jackson knows, yeah. Um, so anyway, uh, we got the Wallet Ninja, which it has a bottle opener, a can opener. Oh, it's a cell phone stand. How? Oh, it's a ninja. He's got tricks. I don't know how it's a cell phone stand. Insert card. Oh, once you put like a business card or a credit card through there. Then they steal all your That's it, y'all. You can take your credit card. Like the, I probably shouldn't put it on the yeah, don't on the web. Them. So we'll take my state park pass. And you put it through there. And then it sits there and it's like a cell phone stand. I can't see what It's a cell doing. phone stand. Right there. I put my cell phone on there, but it's on hey, an actual that thing. box. Oh, that's for you. Oh, it's open. for me. It's the last thing we got in our amazing box. It's a awesome. camera lens. Is it? That'd be really cool if they bought me a new camera lens. Anyone know what this is? Oh, I do. Is it? Like Tom, like Tom, that, that is airport approved. Tom says this is airport approved. So, awesome. Even better. Wow. It's empty. It's a mug, right? It's a mug. Like it's a, a cup. coffee mug. Or whatever you drink. <laughs> Water. This is hilarious. This is the exact lens that I have. You can pour <laughs> coffee in your camera lens? <laughs> no. It's amazing. It, it gives you a really good feature look on confused. your camera. It looks like you're underwater when you use it. I that. hate these things. I can never put things right back time. on straight. Right time. All right. Awesome. Well, that we are done with our, oh my goodness, <laughs> our amazing box of awesomeness. That one wasn't as awesome. I thought it was awesome. It was pretty awesome. We got a slap yeah. bracelet. It was okay on the awesome scale. You know, but we have another one that we're going to do, not today, and it's bigger. I this thing, I cannot recommend the lid. <laughs> what did you thing. say to me? Righty tighty. I, and I'm righty tighty, and it may never lefty loosey. <laughs> this is terrible. All right, we got three minutes left. Is it only three minutes? Later? Yep. So, a little intro for your lesson this morning. Um, there was a little poster pack with our Lifeway lesson. And so, I'm going to read some of these statistics for you and give you a little update. Um, so today's lesson is about enduring through hope. And so they gave us some statistics on the last year of Christian persecution. And so this is something that we talk about very often. Like last year? Yeah, it says in the last year. Okay, within the last year. Gotcha. So 245 million Christians in the world experienced high levels of persecution. We've heard that before. Mm -hmm. We know a lot of these statistics, but just a reminder for you. Um, there were... Almost 2,000 churches and Christian ministries that were violently attacked in the last year. Uh, there were just over 3,000 believers who were imprisoned or arrested without trial. And there were just over 4,000 Christians who were killed for their faith in the last year. And so this made me think about our friends at Open Doors. And so I went to their website and their social media just to see what were some new things going on. Um, they have a podcast coming out soon, so if you're interested in listening to podcasts, um, go check all that out. Uh, but just a short little report from a secret church in Yemen um, who says that they are turning their fears into prayers. So I'm just going to read some of these quotes for you um, as we think about this lesson this morning. Um, a lot of the people in Yemen are not fully aware of all of the symptoms of what's happening right now in the world, all of the like things to look for and whatnot. And so um, some people who have experienced difficulty breathing don't really know that they have COVID. So there's just a lot going into that, a lot going on in Yemen uh, with hospitals and imagine our situation, but even worse because you're in a country where there's just severe <clears throat> war and life mm -hmm. things happening um, constantly. And so from the Christians um, at the Secret Church in Yemen, they have a couple of quotes that I wanted to read to you guys. I've noticed how believers are a blessing as they talk about how to deal with this pandemic in a spirit of hope, encouragement, and prayer. Um, in this environment, believers have been the hardest hit um, as they are sharing how they have overcome sadness and fears and turning them into a driving force to pray and to encourage one another 
to follow um, the advice of treatment and preventions. It has brought us closer to God and brought us closer to our children. We are trying to spend more time with our children, teaching them and praying together and praying for salvation of the people. Um, another man who is a goods vendor said, despite the pressure, I feel that God is with me and my family, and I'm confident that his doors won't close even when others do. Very uh, real in our life. Um, even in the light of difficult conditions we're facing, we feel that the Lord Jesus is with us. We feel his mercy and closeness. A lot of people are complaining about emptiness and boredom because of having to stay at home. But I have found it to be a valuable opportunity to pray, to draw closer to God, and feel the affection of his hand outstretched to his children. And the last one, um, he says, when I search for answers and for help during this time, I find that we as believers must carry hope that helps us with the certainty that tomorrow will be better and that the will of our Lord will pass through this, all the anxieties and fears surrounding us. Um, so just a reminder as, as we think about um, what we're going through in this world that we're in, what the world is going through in other countries. And as we open up God's word and read about how do we endure through hard times? How do we have hope? And how do we uh, seek peace and all of those things? So just to update for you guys, again, check out our friends at Open Doors USA. Check out their podcast, their social media, their website. They've got lots of stories like this if you're interested to go and read about what's going on in the world. For sure, for sure. Awesome. Well, let me wrap us up with a word of prayer, and then we will head on out to your Zoom groups or whatever your life group's doing this morning. Let's pray. Father, we just thank you that you are with us. And God, as we uh, live in a world right now that is consumed by fear, uh, Father, and everywhere we turn, every time we get on social media or turn on the TV, people are seeking to incite more fear in us. God, we must remember that you are in control that you have our days in your mind and you take care of us, that you have us covered. And God, that we um, can trust and walk in faith that you have everything under control and you are on your throne in heaven where you have always been. And Father, that we, uh, as we seek you in prayer and spend time in your word, you will lead us to what truth is and that truth is you. So may we be a people of faith May we be a people of confidence and hopefulness and not a people living in fear. Living in fear is a lack of faith in you. And God, forgive us where we have lived in fear. Uh, because if, when, we, when we are honest, Father, it is sinful to live in fear when you have promised us that you are with us and that we should not be afraid. In fact, over 300 times you say in the Bible, do not be afraid. We must trust you and God help us to act out what we say we believe in faith. God, we just love you today. May we hear from your word. May it bless our hearts. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, amen. boys and girls, uh, we won't see you this Wednesday, but you'll see us next Sunday see next morning. Week. Have a great life group. We're out.